here at home, a big update for you now. I-55 near Shanahan back open this morning, just open. That seven mile portion of the interstate was shut down Monday night after the power lines there came down onto the roadway during severe weather. Now our area saw at least 25 tornadoes in just two days, but the strongest was in this area. Our Mugo Odigwe live there now and Mugo, we just had Skywatch over the area. Very welcome news for this roadway to be open, especially right before the morning rush. Yes, especially for those drivers who use the roadway daily. This is huge news for them, and we know crews have been out here since Monday working to clear things up. But as you said, that road is now back open. Take a look at what things looked like earlier this week. We talked about the damage there. Uh, Illinois State Police got calls for light poles and even wires down on I-55 in Shanahan just after 9 p.m. This was on Monday night and then transmission towers and power lines came down because of the strong winds from Monday's storm. Now we've learned there were 19 tornadoes during Monday's storm alone. The Shanahan to Madison tornado was the strongest with 120 miles per hour winds and was on the ground for nearly 29 miles, enough to leave plenty of damage behind. Comet says the storm also tore down an additional 30 structures. The damage that occurred here is three transmission lines, and then we also have two distribution circuits that were tangled up with uh, the twisting and the um, you know bringing down of those structures. We were able to go ahead and reroute power so that the transmission grid is stable and uh, we're truly focused on this isolated damage here. But again, the road is back open this morning. We know the same tornado that hit here also knocked out power to ExxonMobil's Joliet refinery, and it could take days for things to get back to normal, which could also mean higher gas prices. We're live in Will County, Mugodigwe, CBS News, Chicago.